some of y'all may ask, you know, people that wants to try dip. How do you dip for a beginner? Rush must slow it on down. Life's tough, but all I really need is a good time and some friends of mine. Hit the gas, pass the lights of town. Get back fast to my stomping ground. When life ain't doing you right, take a little time. Throw up that peace sign, it's me and my own free time, won't see me around Hey y'all, Dirt Rope Dipper back here again, nice to see y'all, make sure y'all subscribe Uh, it's a exciting little topic, uh, I haven't talked about this one yet Um, I'm not gonna put in a dip just yet, because I'm fixing to tell y'all how to dip if y'all are beginners Okay, so first things first, okay, how you pack your can Okay, if you can't pack your can, you can't you dip your dip, then you can't spit your spit, as Cup Gunky says. So, let me show y'all, there's a few different ways how to pack your can, okay. Uh, the main one that everybody does, okay, is pack like this. Okay, now how you do that is you hold it like this with your thumb and your middle finger, and you make a C shape, and you go around the can, and then your pointing finger, you leave it limp across the can. Okay, and you make sure that whenever you come down, most time about right here is whenever the finger hits. So you have to make sure all like all your hand except for this finger has got a bunch of grip or you know it's tight and then this one right here you can wiggle it around. Like that. Okay, me personally, I like doing the side pack, which is basically almost the same concept, except for you put four fingers up top, or you can put four fingers up bottom, whichever one you want to do. And then the, uh, one of them that don't have the uh, the three fingers at, you put the thumb on the other side. You put your index finger or your pointing finger up top. And the same thing. And I would suggest before y'all would try that, do that. You know, practice around. Basically, do this right here. I do my middle finger on my on my on my thumb. Put my uh, ring finger and my pinky finger down and then just do that when you get comfortable with it then pick up a can and pack it you know okay the next step is how to crack your can okay this one right here has already been cracked this one right here is almost empty i'm just going to let y'all know that in between the can and the lid there's a little spot right here where you know the can opens at okay there will always be like a little indention there uh if you start right before the uh the tag let me see if i can get this lined up Y'all can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Start before the tag because the tag is always the hardest part to go, come through. What you do is you hold it whichever way you want to. Uh, you Some people use the thumb like this. Some people use their middle finger. Everybody does what they do, you know. So you just spin it around and it'll make this sound. And you, you'll know it when you hear it. And you go all the way around, and when you know you've went all the way around, all you have to do, what I do is I put my my palm up top, and I put my two middle fingers, which are these two, put them underneath the lid, and I lift up. And it ain't hard, okay? So that's how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a dip. Okay, now the pinching part, okay? What I've always did is use my little pointing finger and I, you know, kind of get all the shavings down, okay? And then I kind of press it towards the side a little bit and then I use my thumb. However far back or wherever your thumb goes is how big that pinch is going to be. So I pinch it, I press down, I rub a little bit upside on the bottom, on the side, on the bottom, and then you just lift up. And that's it okay and then you put it in oh hold up y'all how you put it in I almost failed on y'all okay what you do some people 
some people will lift their, you know, their bottom lip down and put it in there. And then some other people would just put it in there like that or like this. Or you could do it like how Mojo does it, does it. Just throw it on your tongue and put it in wherever it needs to go. So, how I do it. Just like that. Well, let me get a kill filler real quick. This dip is moist. And that's how you do it and how you spit, you know, if you're a guy and you're, you know, you should be able to spit and you should know how to spit even if you don't dip. Okay, but those of you that are queer folks and don't know how to spit, right, this is how you do it. Okay, if you're spitting in a bottle or spitting outside, always don't let, don't let the spit, you know, go all, all on your dip because that's how it gets soggy and that's how your dip spreads everywhere. Okay, because if you if you start dipping for a while, you'll begin to create a pocket. Wherever you dip at most, you're gonna create a pocket there. That way, your dip will stay there. But if if you keep on, you know, having mouthfuls of spit and all that kind of nasty shit, and um, you know, and it gets all over the dip you have in your lip, you know, that's how it sogs, and that's how you know the dip gets nasty quick. But Okay, it's easier for beginners to use a bottle because the be people that start dipping, um, most of them, their first several times, they have some of the stringiest, some of the nastiest spit I ever see in my life. Okay, but use a bottle because what you do is when you spit, you get it all on your tongue and you let it roll off. But when you let it roll off your tongue, give you a little force behind it, like that. And then at the same time you do that, you know, kind of. Scrape the the rim of the bottle on your top lip to where the, all the stringers and shit like that will go inside the bottle like this, like that. Okay, now if you're spitting outside, I prefer spitting on the ground or whatever. Once you learn how to spit a little bit, because if you don't know how to spit, you know, especially if you're around everybody, you're just gonna embarrass yourself, make yourself look bad having stringers and shit like that and I prefer I know in my first dip I, I did Copenhagen straight so if you do watch this and you decide to try your first dip I suggest for the first few minutes sitting down to get used to the head buzz because the head buzz and the rush and what you will feel off your dip it all depends on what kind you get but you will get a buzz and most of the time you might swallow a little bit of spit and it'll make you sick. You might throw up, you, your stomach might hurt, your head might hurt, you know. Who knows, but it's all part of dip. Every person that has dipped has felt that, has felt a huge buzz from dip at least once in their life. So, in that case, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, it's a short little clip, but those of y'all that are beginners that decide to watch this and, um, you know, decide this might help you, I hope it does. If not, leaving comments or, or text anybody that you know that dips and ask them, you know, what else do I need to do because obviously, uh, you know, I miss some. But guys, I'm fixing to wrap this up. Uh, remember, in my description box below... You know, y'all can follow me on my social medias. I got Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, if y'all want any merch from RedneckNationGear.com, the link is below. If y'all want to go and check out Mojo1 and check out all the new Mojos, because he is the owner of Mojos, for the ones of y'all that don't know, um, y'all can go there and see all the special deals, see all the offers, see what's coming up next. And uh, the king of outlaw, the king of dipping is Outlaw Dipper. Uh, got his channel down below. Uh, make sure y'all go subscribe to them if y'all haven't already. And I will hope to see y'all soon. Maybe again tonight. Maybe again tomorrow. Uh, this will be up sometime in the morning. So if y'all don't see it like around two or three o'clock in the morning, y'all will probably see it later on. It's hold up. What day is it? I don't know. Anyways, it's. 
last night when I did it. So it's coming up in the morning. And I might, if I get another idea and I can't sleep, I might make another one for y'all. So let's just see how it goes. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Remember, if y'all ain't dipping, y'all ain't shit, motherfuckers. See?